so humid. It's so stuffy in this bag. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Shady Drug Deals in Shibuya is the same organization behind both this and the extortions. Alongside the phishing scams that have been on the rise, this may be their source of funding. Restaurant Factory Fire. A worker from the restaurant giant Hararuya was arrested for arson. Though he admits to the charges, he claims to not know why he did it. This industry is raising eyebrows. Oh yeah, something weird happened in food service before, right? Some employee cooking naked? With all these extortions and scams, this world's really messed up. I don't get it. I saw Nijima arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was that all about? I hear her older sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Right. We're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. All right. Let's go. Just as we planned, we might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope something comes of it. I'll be counting on you. Hmm. Is she following us? Nah, that can't be. What do you mean? She's been following us for like a month now. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Is that so? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. <laughs> come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. What's wrong, kid? Don't see guys like me very often? Hmm? Is that supposed to be some kind of password? I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. That ain't so easy. I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way, but I don't think he's there today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. I see. Maybe this other person would know something. Apparently, he's near the train station, so let's go take a look over there. Miss President's here. I walk past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try staking out the underground walkway. Then I'll check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get these from the underground. There. I will gather some more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end, Ren. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Oh, you seem to be working hard. Did you find any clues? Hmm. You're trying to find a homeless person? That's a good idea. They would know a lot about what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here, but I would bet there are some in the underground area. 
underground. I don't like the idea of it, but we should go check it out. What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. A part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice. Don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area around now. But just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases. Code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? Have you found anything? Oh, so you've grasped something already. As to be expected of someone like you, Ren. Why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly, some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs? I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station plaza. Apparently, they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables and something about snow tomorrow? I will go observe just in case. The arcade is on Central Street, correct? Huh. All right. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Hello, young man. Would you happen to know how I could board the Inogami line? Uh, go down those stairs, then turn left. Be careful, Granny. Oh, Shibuya is so complicated. These bones don't move like they used to, either. How troubling. Ugh, come on. Oh. Sorry, my lead didn't end up being in anything. That dude at the stairs? Pretty misleading, huh? Sheesh. Oh, what about An and Yusuke? You should go check on him. Hey, Granny. You okay? You're looking pretty shaky, so I don't mind giving you a hand. Hmm? He's so precious. You have such stylish hair, young man, and a kind personality as well. Y yeah. Thanks. I don't know what I'm even doing here, though. Well, then. He said his lead didn't amount to anything. We should leave this area to him, okay? Come on, let's go see Lady On and Yusuke. Finally! Someone who appreciates Ryuji. <laughs> Sorry! There's nothing over here. Look, someone's asking about a video shoot over by the train, but I guess that's for models. In any case, they're not here. Go try seeing what Ryuji and Yusuke have. Hmm, maybe they're scouting for an agency? Uh, it definitely has nothing to do with drug smuggling. This isn't the right place. Come on, let's go ask if the others what they found. I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade? You're a high school student, aren't you? You'd better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. Hmm? Look, 
But just don't get into that stuff until you're an adult, okay? No. I truly haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Man... It looks like Yusuke's in trouble. I guess we can go to- go in his place, though. We want the back alley in front of the arcade, right? Well, there's nothing here, but... Hello? Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Mafia we're looking for. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. It looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. How about it? Wanna meet up? Do you think it's safe, though? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let us disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk in private, and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, oh, that must be what they call hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello? Happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. You talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Hey, hey! Master. Most often used in the phrase Master of the Arts, it's reserved for artists with incredible skill and techniques that grew to be heavily influential in their mediums. One of the most prolific masters in painting, Pablo Picasso, also has one of the longest full names in art history, 103 letters total. All right. I see. Nice. Yay! Hmm. 
okay. Hi! Thanks for calling me. I came here just for you on my day off. You'd better be grateful. Technically, this is still work, so I wore my maid outfit. I still charge my usual rate on my days off. That'll be 5,000 yen, please. What? Laundry is a piece of cake. You go ahead and enjoy your free time. Jeez, I'm actually kind of jealous. today now listen closely the place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is one that many young people are said to visit here one has the opportunity to view the fantasies of humans we hear there are a variety of fantasies available for perusal there and all outside of a palace how strange yes these fantasies they are the cognitions of others given form they will undoubtedly support your efforts does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It could be the movie theater over in Shibuya. What'll you do? Oh. The what? The moving theater? Is this place cursed to wander the land or something? Guide me, inmate. We shall confirm our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. for an inmate. That was rather enjoyable, inmate. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story to anyone who could hear. It's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up! It was only because of that thing jumping out at my face. And you were just as scared, Justine. It certainly was startling. The eyes and nose seemed to stretch out right at me. And it all began the moment I donned those black glasses. What exactly were those that we wore? Oh, so there was some sort of trick to the glasses. But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while we were caught up in the movie, was it? Why... Why is it the humans even create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't the imagining of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. Why do humans go so far as to spend their money just to witness fictional events? What a naive notion! Humans are such simple-minded creatures! Perhaps humans immerse themselves in imaginary worlds as a means of escaping reality. Escape, you say? That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you may rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such a foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Of course, that line of thinking... Or could that line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? Huh. What a pathetic fantasy. I'll bet you were thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such crassness, Caroline. If he were to attempt such a blatant jailbreak, either our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh? And how would you do it, Justine? I would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster of some distractive image. Blowing open the cell door seems more impactful. They used that plan in one of the movie previews, correct? They we wielded a bazooka and went about blowing everything up. Any recaptured escapee is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are the only options for an inmate on the lam. Suspense and e excitement are necessary elements of any escape. Did you learn nothing from the movie, Caroline? Or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up! The inmate will settle this for us! Hey! Tell us how you tried to escape! Would you blast the door or use a spoon? 
Did you hear that, Caroline? Even the inmate knows that a crude plan like yours has no hope of succeeding. Hmm, whatever. It's not like he can actually escape either way. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a little bit every now and then. Indeed. Today we learn more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such vile palaces plague humanity. <laughs> Don't fall behind. You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. That being said, here is your reward. Now, let us return. I escorted the twins back to the velvet room. Thank you for waiting! Here you go! Yeah. Alright, I'll see you later. Is it just me, or are there a ton of police here today? I've got a job you could do, want to hear more? Another psychotic breakdown? Oh, you mean how they're increasing security in Shibuya? There's a, they're the scum of society, hurry up and arrest them. So, we meet again. My what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? Is that Hifumi in the background? Or is it just someone else in a Kosei uniform? It's a nice detail, though. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Anything? God, they suck. And we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. On's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? The business card says Ichiko Oya of Mayasa newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. 
Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey. You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose into other people's business. <sighs> the Chief's as sharp as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dra dragged into things. I can do all kinds of housework, you know. If you have time, request me by phone. Okay, I'm still at work. I'll talk to you later. Oh, just teleported me again. Hi. Hey. Then I'll head over. Thank you for using our service. Makoto. I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Uh huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey, you've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> Well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <sighs> They're unforgivable. Yo, did the reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one, then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this! I am merely discussing all the possible possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Ijima-senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please. Please hurry. <sighs> well then, we'll just have to wait for any word. Let's just prepare the plan in the meanwhile. Sorry to bother you while you were expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? It seems the one who posted about his brother as a student at my school. And so, after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh, right. I was actually wondering about that. I, it didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed. 
Now I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. And you even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in a mementos. This burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as the Mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him that what being a Phantom Thief really is really about. It seems we are unanimous, then. We can further discuss the details at the hideout. Hmm. We have our target. We also have the Mafia to deal with, too, so make sure the timing's right. Anyway, let's all meet up at the hideout when you're ready. Start Yusuke's confidant. <laughs> you must have a wealth and free time if that is your decision. May I get a word in? I would like to speak with you. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Yusuke. Ren, do you have time? Wait one second. Alright, just wanted to sell some stuff. Hello. <laughs> May I get a word in? Yes. Do you remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I am having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? Ren, what should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Ah, oh, I see. Mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on things. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Oh. The distorted realm teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. But I ac actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is what the, when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only served to distance me from reality, doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my, my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hm. The lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. <laughs> yes. Inspiration has struck. <laughs> that must be it. Such brilliant composition. Oh, my heart races. Oh no, it wasn't inspiration, it was just slime. <laughs> How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work.
It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. You caught me. I worry that you may not get what I mean. It was a figure of speech. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Oh, Van of Gogh course. Van did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? It's the blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... My picture turned into a real skill card? Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Yes, you can rely on me. I can sense Yusuke's trust in me. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? What can I say? Graphic design is my passion. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Duplication. You can now ask Yusuke to use his duplication ability to make you copies of skill cards. To copy a skill card, give Yusuke a blank card and the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available for you to pick up the next day. The blank card will be transformed to create the new skill card. Yusuke will return both the new and original cards to you. Blank cards can be obtained from search objects and me mementos. Try and find as many as you can. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I'll contact you once it's done. I'm in your debt. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some, some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say, I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I'll perform to the best of my ability. You need only ask. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I could not have finished today's piece. Now, we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. <laughs> For the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. See you. The journalist responded to me. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. That's the spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district, okay? You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by, on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. 
My apologies. I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Ren will go, okay? If Ren's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. That's not the issue! Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide ya. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time! Is this really going to be okay? Hey! Come on, let's hop to the JL. Go out here and head through the ticket gates on the right. Alright, let's head to Shinjuku! Shinjuku, a hotspot of Tokyo known for its nightlife and downtown shopping. Bars open to minors. Even if you're not old enough to drink, you are welcome to sit and chat. Hey! Shinjuku's outside of the area where a commuter pass works, right? You'll have to pay a fare. Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for ya. Hey, stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa! I was just trying to find that place we're looking for. Crossroads Bar, right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Welcome to our izakaya. How about some all-you-can-drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you wanna rage? <laughs> so you're just a kid. Get out of here. You're in the way. The hell? You're the one who was all wanted to talk to us. Hey man, you wanna come play? Touch all you want, no added fees. We have the cutest girls in town, too. Come on, I'll make it cheap. What do you say? <sighs> just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter wh which way you cut it, he's a shady character. You have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Hey, wait! We, uh, graduated a long time ago. Well, we're adults, you know. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. It actually is your fault this time, surprisingly. I excuse me. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Okay, that's awesome. This is the most useful social link in the entire game. Hands down. Hands down. We'll come back for it later. That's amazing if it's true. Whoa, man. 
We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time, too. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ooh, fancy. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought you were joking, yet here you are. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh. Why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? Or Ryuji! He used to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal, then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! We did it! We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? For real? Awesome! Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. I'm that kind of- it's that kind of open area you passed on your way to the bar. So, we just have to go back the way we came, huh? Alright, let's go. Hey! I'm tired of waiting. You get any dirt on her next target? For real? Junior Kaneshiro? Hey, not so loud! Junior Kaneshiro. And enter. Alright! There we go! Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time! Wait! Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right. I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. This is totally crazy, though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Serves you right.
doesn't it, old man? Alyssa, and you too are cursed. The Maxwell curse. Anyone who touches that statue, Alan Hale and I, we... You're not making any sense. Oh, there's no way to... There you are, you little runt. <laughs> Wanna head back? Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head home for the night. Did you find any clues? You did it! Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? Hey, some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me? She said she's interested in me. What's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? Don't tease me, I'm gonna lose sleep over this! Oya-san... She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? Man, I am so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyways, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. You could ask Kawakami to do it for you. Kawakami at LeBlanc. Kawakami can only be called to LeBlanc for housekeeping after it is closed. The customers in Sojudo will leave the cafe at that time, so be aware of this if you have any business with them. Hey! Hmm. Yep. Make sure you close up. console playing video games playing video games will cause time to pass but various stats will increase depending on what game is played games are made up of several levels completing one level will fill in one cartridge icon the game has been beaten when all icons are filled oh. look at you how can you expect to write for a fashion magazine when you dress like a fashion victim? Because I really like words and pants. It's a story about a woman struggling against adversity and prejudice. Nice. Looks have nothing to do with what's inside. I can sympathize with her. I see. What's really important is not your appearance, but what's on the inside. Maybe you learned a thing or two about charm by watching this drama. Hmm. Well then. Hi. Did he change his clothes? <laughs> <laughs> 